Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to me, Cornish Knight, and this is Battle Brothers. Um, I've reported the issue to the developers and have been informed that it is a known bug and it will be fixed before the full release, which is good. Um, it's just a uh, basic equipment thing here, it's a known bug, so it'll be fine. Right, he's off for what, one, two days, that's not great, I'll serve. Now I've been reading various bits of information and I have been from basically people are arguing that for example like the axes aren't as good um the spears aren't as good like damage per wise and like the axes aren't as good you want to go with like morning stars and flails and maces and uh, I'm of two minds in that particular regard I can see where they're coming from it's a completely justifiable um, notion, and it's it works fine. That I must, I just, I want, I'm tempted to put, I think, Paul Lithio for a second, and have this guy up here take his place, so we can get some combat experience. Um, that yes, you can. There is a point to argue that say the mace, like flails in this game are maces and flails in this game are really good, especially late game to a certain extent. Um, I understand where people are coming from, like when you have like a really powerful warband and um, you want to like stun stuff, especially like orcs, where you don't want them to basically get attacks off against you. But at the same time, I just don't. I don't like the like number crunching. It's like you you go and read it, and it's they say oh. Okay, what well, they? He's fighting. They're fighting goblin militias. I like just playing a game like like the percentage element stuff. Like it's like, oh, this weapon is twenty five percent more effective than this weapon. It's like any weapon should be effective no matter what tactical solution you use. Uh, it's night time. This is going to be fun. This is basically why you shouldn't really fight at night. Range skill, range defense, and vision, which is not fantastic. Um, they have like brought up a really good thing, like some of the traits, for example, like people seem to be like ignoring the easier to injure trait, which is something I can't understand. Um, being able to injure people is really useful as, oh, as a skill to have, especially with like spears and like ranged weapons, because getting injured actually, getting injured is actually really bad stat-wise. You get like a massive penalty. Those be the wolf riders. Okay, they're right up on us, I thought. Ooh, nicely done. Saint just steps up and just cuts its arm wide open. I didn't realise, actually, to be honest, that they were here. I thought we had allies. Um, okay, that's not particularly fantastic. But we shall do our best to right that situation. Unfortunately, most of our people are here. This is me talking and me not paying attention, to be honest. Missed. Okay, that's not good. We actually do need to start moving people up. At least getting some people up just to block our archer units. Hopefully he should be able to weather this attack. I'm not fantastic. I should have been paying more attention. Oh well. There's the other one. Trying to get away. We'll put him here. Ooh, nicely done. Wiseman just steps up and just like buries his Danish war axe into the goblin and it screams and bleeds profusely. Right, let's try and get some more guys up. 33, 39. Uh, What's well, worth the try? We kill off the wolf, and then, like, VDR just steps up and just decimates the wolf. Alright, let's just punch it in the head. Okay, I'm on. The 
wolf is fleeing, which is always nice. And we decimate that wolf as well. I said probably, to be honest, let it flee. It doesn't matter because we kill off that one as well. Come on, Argy. Nicely done. Is so it fleeing? Yeah, we'll chuck him into combat here, get a free attack out of him. Nothing greatly lost, to be honest, at the end of the day. But you can see I don't really like fighting wolf riders. They are a pain. A little bit of damage to be healed by tomorrow. Got a little bit of stuff. What are they fighting? We'll basically, we'll wait for the militia to turn up here and join in. And hopefully... should call me in at some point. There we go. To see an arrow fly over in the darkness. I did have a fellow player of this by the name of was it Hill Home? I'm trying to know his name. Mr. Hill, we still call him. Um, he's been playing this and he wondered what the standard bearer does. From my understanding, they are basically like massive like rally boosts. They have like morale enhancing abilities, though they're not supposed to be that fantastic in combat. They're supposed to be like improved versions of the captain and like the sergeant's abilities that you can get. Just with a larger area of range and more people it affects. To be honest, I just joined in this fight because I was hoping to get a bit more of the loot done, but I wasn't willing to sort of take them all on. Uh, let's just get on. By the time we get there, the guys are going to be dead. There's a lot of militia here, at least. There should be. bandits are over here somewhere, and we're shooting down on them. I wish you got, like, improved, like, around, like relations with the villagers if you joined in battles like this. To be honest, I'm not going to be able to reach them, I'm just doing this just to see what's going on, really. No, but I like some of the new stuff the developers have said they're going to be doing. The, uh, the ability to attack anyone just by clicking on clicking on them is going to be really nice. It means that you'll be able to play more like actual mercenaries. Of um, medieval mercenaries basically came in like two varieties really in the medieval period. Um, well, they came in like variety of um, various varieties, but the the main like theme of a mercenary was that. Um, you either had like the really like disciplined companies, or you had the ones that were pretty much um, you had the ones that were pretty much just sort of like bandits, who um, the local lord basically they they hired themselves out as mercenaries, and if they didn't get paid, they basically just stole anything that was nailed down in the general area. So here's what's going on. They're fighting off a couple of bandit raiders. Not like a massively difficult fight, to be honest. None of them are wearing particularly good armor. He's not too bad, but he's got a cut in his abdomen. Interestingly enough, if you can actually get a bloke with ooh, if you can actually get a bloke with um, good armor and a knife in close to basically these armored dudes, it's really easy to kill them. No, but um, yeah, mercenaries in the medieval period were really unreliable. Oh, that's going to end badly. Yeah, never fight someone on an island like this. Even if you like surround them and outnumber them, they'll have like massive advantages to kill your people. They need to shoot one of their own. Uh, 
um, no, but medieval mercenaries were really quite cut. It depended which like kind of mercenaries you were well, not what kind, but which company you basically hired, which mercenary unit you basically hired. Some were more professional than others. It's where we get the term like freelancer, like freelancer from, which was that it was originally like a lance was originally a formation which was basically a knight, and basically the assorted sort of um, men at arms that they sort of made a unit of. So it was the associated number of men at arms that a single knight had. And um, if you, if they weren't working for a lord or were not part of like a nation's army, they were known as a free lance, and they acted like as basically soldiers for hire. Um, the Normans did it. It's a very famous case of like um, I, think, I believe it was like three Norman brothers going over to Italy and Sicily um, in the 1100s, or might have been 1200s. Um, I think it was 1100s. Um, but yeah, I mean, you either had like relatively like professional mercenaries or you literally just had like brigands who became mercenaries and the thing is those were more in the majority because obviously if, unless you had like a really disciplined mercenary group it was very much um ooh, God, they really are killing people off you can see this is how terrain advantage basically works in the enemy's favor all over the place. Let's get him here. Come on, Saint, do your thing. He's off the mound, at least. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of mercenary companies in the medieval period were very unreliable. It's an underestimation. It was the fact was that uh, it was be they would be liable until your your side started to lose the battle, and then they would very likely flee for it or turn on you as well was another one. Um, though it is to be said that it, mercenaries who betrayed their contractors weren't didn't tend to have a long life expectancy. So you have this really interesting situation where um, some mercenaries like would fight really, really desperately hard because obviously the the other alternative is them for them is basically to get executed, which is not something they want. Um, then the other types would be literally you could bribe them. Like you have many instances in um, both the classical and medieval periods where um, one side lost because literally their merc one of their mercenaries um, basically betrayed them. done there. Well done Seymour, just finish off that bandit with a single arrow shaft. No, but it was, I mean... Okay, can we get him from up here? No. Jump down. But no, I mean mercenaries run live by. I mean you've had like you've had large mercenary armies in the past because obviously in the medieval period it was hard to have like raise a standing army quickly, so you tended to have mercenaries and they tended to be more professional than like raised troops. Also, you've got to remember that during medieval period a lot of um, lords were overly reliant upon their sort of subordinates to basically raise troops and come to their aid and if the if the liege lord was basically not well liked um his subordinates may not bring as many people as he thought i mean for example you have king john used relied heavily upon mercenaries during his time um because he found them to be more reliable than the british barons that basically didn't like him that much there we go that's the captain's rally ability Um, I mean, you have like I'm trying to remember the particular emperor of uh, emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire, which later became modern, which basically became like the Byzantium Empire. Um, he conquers he conquered a large swathe of like what you'd consider like the the old bit of, like like some of the old territory of like the Eastern of Eastern Mediterranean and like in, in Italy and stuff. He basically he made the he was responsible for making. Like the high tide, like the high water mark for the um, Eastern Roman Empire. I'm just trying to remember what his name was. 
Um, this escapes me now, but his army was largely made of mercenaries, and the problem that he found was that he constantly had to make sure that they were basically winning and getting money. Otherwise, um, he was going to basically the, the risk of him getting murdered by his own men was quite high, because mercenaries, if they don't get paid, will basically probably kill you. Blocked it. I knew he would. No, I mean, mercenary work is not particularly pleasant work, to be honest. Um, it comes down to it in the end. Ooh, that's nasty. Break his shield. Right, without his shield, he's pretty much done for at this point. He can't do anything. Come on, Moisman, finish him off. Yes, nicely done. We, we at least we killed one person for them. But no, I mean mercenaries. Like in the medieval period, it was it was bad. I mean, if you were a mercenary, you weren't particularly liked, and you were, you could literally uh, get hung for being a mercenary. Like if the village town, if the town you were in suddenly turned against you, it was not un, un, like unknown for them to basically like execute mercenaries just for like like security reasons. Like oh. Um, like you've had like a riot, let's round up people and execute them, and if there was a mercenary you might get killed because obviously you were seen as basically a dangerous element. It was really an unpredictable life. If you were on the losing side in the medieval period as a mercenary you were likely to get executed because there was like no money in it to basically ransom you unless you were of noble birth. Um, but even then if you were a mercenary it might not work because a lot of the a lot of the children, like a lot of the second and third sons who had become mercenaries didn't actually have any titles allowed to go with it. No one was injured. Oh, these guys, they weren't injured per se, it was more from the list over that we got some not too bad equipment. Just picking up the leftovers of battle. Not pleasant, but hey ho. Right, where's... Which one can actually hit better? That's the question. Him. Right, you get that. That's still better than what you've got on, my friend. I need to be getting better armor, really. What's this? AT-75. I need to be giving my archers decent armour, to be honest. I can't be afford to be losing them. I know it like drops their um, initiative down, but... The only other choice I have is basically to go light armour and get... I believe it's this. Specialist in light armour gains a bonus to your base melee defence as high as... But that's melee defence, I don't want to want it basically range defense you can't get. Uh, we'll pit, pop down to the village, see if they've got anything worth trading. Anything worth anything? Maybe sell off some of this light armor. Uh, goblin, Fulcrum. What was it? Cruel Fulcrum. Fulcheon. Fulcheon, so my, apo my apologies. Uh, keep the hand axe. I know, like, one of the arguments for, like, not using the hand axe is literally if you get surround bonuses, you can overcome their shields, especially if you've got, like, maces or flails. But I find that in this game, especially on the harder difficulty, it's just better to hack through the people's gu um, guard to be done with it quickly as possible. No contracts. No contracts that I'm really interested in taking. The militia, this would be interesting. I look forward to actually when we can actually take on militias like this. I just click on them and say, okay, give us your stuff or die. I wish we could actually, like, up straight just rob people, just go up to them and go, like, right, give us your stuff or die. Well, you'll be able to do that anyway, but to be honest, that's, like, a bit of a myth. Most, like, most, um, like, brigands and stuff would just slit your throat straight away and be done with it because there'd be, like, no witnesses. I mean, it was pretty nasty in the medieval period. You had, like, armed gangs that, like, travelled about raiding places, like, attacking, like, isolated homesteads and stuff. 
but not all the time in the medieval period. That was only when like law and order had sort of degenerated a bit. But um, it happened from time to time, especially like during like the plague and stuff like that. When civil order basically breaks down, it's not particularly good because obviously people are willing to do whatever it takes to survive, so. Hmm. Sell some of these. Has anybody got any decent gear? No. Nice crossbow, really nice war bow. And no. Uh, right. Where is it that I basically have good relations with? Futsburg, maybe. Go to Futsburg. Ornmark. Cobbenhaven. Saxdorf doesn't like me too much, I don't think. Ah, they're okay. You can go down to Saxdorf, see if there's any work. We can have to go through that pass. Uh, ah, well. Actually, if that's the case, I might. Because the minister's in town, I might. I might just sleep for the night. To be honest, I don't like travelling during the, the night time, and it's a risky thing to do, especially in this world. Um, and it would have been the medieval period as well. Um, but no, it's interesting. Um, it, like, if we, take, if we take the Black Death for example. Like, yes, the Black Death was horrible, and it caused like loads of like massive depopulation of Europe and like Asia and the Middle East. But the interesting thing is in Britain, for example, you actually had massive population mobility, like vertical population mobility, which was that because um, there were less like peasants basically to work the land, I mean, and serfs to that matter as well, which were like the lowest class, which were basically slaves. Um, are they going to follow us? Yeah, they're going to follow us. Oh, great. Hopefully, we can get rid of them. A few many bandit raiders. That's not great. I was hoping for a nice... But if we can lure them up towards the town, they'll get alerted, and the armed militia will come down and help us out. Are they still following us? Yes. Or we could try and fight them, like, in the mountains, but that would involve us taking a big risk. Come on, the guard tower should see when the militia should come out to help us in a bit. This is a tactic you can use, literally luring people into um, fights with local militias where there's supposed to be a militia here. Is they, are they coming? Are they being... Oh, no, they're, they're definitely coming, alright. Ah, uh, this is going to be interesting. I thought the militia would pop out, but they're obviously not going to. Well, let's... Put everybody around the drinks. We could try and capture the high ground, that might be useful. Problem is we're on low ground here, I'd like to try and face we're at night, so they have range defense and range penalties. Yeah. Right. We could try and fall back. Or we can try and capture the high ground. We can try forcing them this way and drawing them out into this terrain. Okay, what are we looking at? We can't see anything. Okay. We need to first get him out of the hole. That's the priority. Let's shift him this way. There's a lot of them. Alright, this is going to get bloody. We might need to go on the offensive. I mean, you can hold them here. It's this bit that's going to be a pain, especially with those great weapons. Okay. Just trying to think how we can play this got a lot of two-handed weapons, we might have to basically aggressively push. We 
I'll try and fall back. I don't like the idea of him fighting on high ground. Watch his turn, six turns, eight turns. We need to deal with this guy here, really. Okay, let's go then. Oh, curses. Right. I mean, we could drag him in. T uh, that would drag him into all of us. That might be better, actually. Drag him in. Shield wall up. That's not great. Right, we need to get you out of this hole, Sunny Jim. swarm this basically this bulk head or uh, bolts that we have here which is not great. Let's see how they do. Got archers. Move here and give as much support to them as you can. That's not great. Yeah, they gotta go for this bulge, we're gonna have to push. Yeah, okay, let's do it this way then. At least we got one of the archers. Right. Crack his shield. Crack his head. Ooh, nicely done, VDR. But he just stands up and just sort of cleaves into the guy, cuffing deep into the man's um, leg muscle. Might crack his shield wide open. Oh god, that's not good. Wiseman, hold on. that's going to do melee defense. Okay, that's not great. 45%. Going to pull him out. Right. We need to basically watch his armor like. Body's armor's not that good. Right, we killed him. Hit him in the head. Right. We need to basically focus on this guy here now. He's a big threat. And we'll smack this guy in the head if we can manage it. 49. Nicely done. You managed to cut deep into his arms. Well, Saint, well done. Flank him as well. Another archer. Okay, there's a lot of them. They're all focusing on him. That's not great. Yeah, okay, we need to do something about that. Totally, hold on, man. Well done. Come on. Missed. Totally, do you have ability to move? You're gonna be. I'm gonna have to stick you on. Forty-five. 
45, 40. Oh, we missed, at least managed to kill him. Come on. They're dropping like flies. We just have to make sure that we end them. They're dropping like flies, come on. That's not good. Break his shield open. Do we have any abilities that we can use? Oh, he should have put his shield up. That's not great. Push him back. Nothing else. Push him back. They got so many archers. Ah, oh, they killed totally professional. No. This is going badly wrong. I must avenge him. Nighttime weather. The problem is, how do we get? to get that guy down off that hill. Him, it will probably make them break. Nah, oh, curses. Jump down and get stuck in. Good, we managed to kill him. Ooh, nicely done, Astar. Half the stance cuts deep into the man's leg muscle. Bad. I shouldn't have moved them there. <laughs> oh, they killed Afgar. Oh, he's got a pierced lung. No. Decapitation nicely does VDR. Kill as many of them as you can. Oh yes. Oh. 
Yes. It's got Pierce Long. Oh god, we lost so many good people. And this is why you never fight at night. Let's just kill this guy at least. Right, so it's over. Right, who did we lose? Alpha total professional. Oh, I didn't like that we lost totally professional. Uh, did we get any gear back off them? We lost laminate. We got his chainmail back, but laminate is a pain to basically pick up. Some maces. Uh. He leveled up. Nicely done, Saint. Make it so you wound more likely, but we got a whole bunch of injuries. So you got a lost a bunch of people as well. with the amount of like great weapon damage we could probably deal out or how's he bad? Uh, he's pretty bad here. I need to pull him out, put him back in, switch him over. I could probably switch that out for another mace. These guys are in a bad way, but we're gonna have to leave it there for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you've liked please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can leave me a a comment on Facebook or Twitter at the links below, or leave a comment in the comment section. I'm always happy to get them. If you wish to have a character named after you in the Let's Play, just leave it in the comment section, and I'll be happy to do it. But just sort of make it clear that that's what you want, because if you just like leave saying, just leaving saying that's really good, and expect me to put a name in, I'll be confused. So just say, I would like to have a character named in the Let's Play, or something like that. Have a lovely day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.